no new cases of COVID-19 today as the country moved into level two, exactly seven weeks after we first went into lockdown. Queenstown rolled out the welcome mat to domestic visitors today as passenger planes flew in for the first time since April the 1st. The district has been reeling from thousands of job losses with more than 5,500 people requesting welfare since late March. Visual journalist Nathan McKinnon and tourism reporter Tess Brunton were in Queenstown as travel resumed. Hey, this I do for Queenstown. We're back. Queenstown Mayor Jim Bolt welcomed the return of domestic visitors with a sunrise bungee off Kawaro Bridge with AJ Hackett bungee. Two, one, two. I see the funny side of the fact that not too long ago we um, were worried about the number of flights coming in here. Uh, we haven't seen any for a long time and very much looking forward to these flights. Hours later, the first passenger flight touched down in what was once one of the country's busiest airports. Look, there's a lot of people out there going through a lot of pain at the present time. We need to remember those who have lost their jobs, those who are, whose businesses are struggling, uh, the migrant folk who um, may not be here in the future. A lot of pain. However, there's no point in standing around wringing your hands saying, woe is me, we're going to get on with it and today is the day we get on with it. The flight left foggy Christchurch this morning, landing in a bluebird day. Christchurch resident Tracy Hay was first out of the terminal, ready to help her daughter and grandson move house. It's freeing. It's, it's a bit weird to be allowed to do this. Um, but to be in a different place from Christchurch is just amazing. And Christchurch has been great, I, you know, but, oh, it's so nice to be here. So nice to be out. Auckland resident Phil Bramwell booked a weekend away with his friends as soon as Level 2 was announced. He says other Aucklanders won't be far behind. Oh, I think Aucklanders are waiting to get down here. They can't wait. I think there'll be plane loads of them very quickly following us, I'd say. With a weekend of golf and hunting planned, he wasn't phased by the changes to flying. Social distancing was done really well, so we, you know we, we never got close to anybody, so it was all pretty safe and I felt 100% safe. Anthony Mortimer is happy to be able to support local tourism. Everything's distant, so there's clearly one metre apart at least in all of the um, queues that you're in. Um, there's no food open, there's no coffee open, there's no people close by to you and the seats are very spread in the planes. So it's just an, it was a weird feeling really and a kind of a unique thing but it's great to be back and I hope everything goes really well for everyone in Queenstown and it works out okay because goodness knows we need this economy back up and running now, it's been too long. Christchurch resident Matthew landed ready to head to his favourite restaurant, Ferg Burger. Um, it was pretty good, eh? I travelled actually on the first day of lockdown as well, so it was pretty similar to that. So I had a bit of a warm-up, so it was like empty airports and sort of barren planes. It was quite, it was quite nice. He'll be in the area for the next few weeks. I've actually come down to um, work down here. Yeah, I cut hair. Yeah. And is there a big demand for cutting hair in Queenstown? A little bit. At the moment, it's is um. Bit, Nationwide, it's pretty full on, eh? <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah, it's good. Queenstown Airport Operations and Safety General Manager Michael Clay says it's exciting to see flights return. Well, I think it's great for the airport and for the staff who work here and, and all of our stakeholders, but it's even more important for the tourism operators in Queenstown. And it's actually going to breathe some life back into their businesses and give them a bit of hope for the future, I think. The airport would usually have about 40 arrivals and departures a day at this time of the year. Today, they had four. Mr Clay says it's a good opportunity to ensure their social distancing is up to scratch. Very much a quiet, empty terminal compared to what people are used to. But hopefully as we get the processes improved over time, we'll be able to increase the numbers and the amount of access to the terminal. And then we'll see the return of our food and beverage operators and, and a bit more of a tourist holiday atmosphere within the terminal as well. That currently means no meters and greeters in the terminal. Jets from Auckland will start touching down on Saturday. In Queenstown for Checkpoint, Cortez Brunton, TNA.